Hello everybody and welcome to the start of a brand new series. So in the live stream yesterday, a lot of you guys were asking me if I would play Roblox and yeah, I, I've messed around with it a little bit, not too terribly much, but I thought I would give it a look. The only problem with Roblox is I don't really know many good games and I didn't know many good nature themed games that would be in keeping with the channel. And um, I do want to say right now, usually my character is not bald. She usually has hair, but I've taken it off and you will see why soon. So you may notice we're in a kind of dirt looking place, kind of an, kind of an interesting little place. And um, a lot of these games may be lesser known. I'm pretty sure this is one of the lesser known ones. And if you guys know any good nature themed Roblox games, please let me know. Send me the links. I would love to check them out. But we are actually in a game that is called Meerkat Simulator. <laughs> and you can see we have a pretty cute little Roblox model of a meerkat. And like, it's actually a pretty good model. It's very hard to model in Roblox. I've been messing with it and trying to do some modeling in Roblox. And it's very hard to get a good looking model. This meerkat model is actually pretty good. But um, I've played with this a little bit and we can actually stand on this button to morph. Now these are going to be shorter episodes. I'm just going to be doing like 10 minutes at a time and you can see we're now our meerkat. Now it's not animated yet but I have seen them the um on the uh on the page for the server they say they do want to get it animated at some point but for now it's not so we're just going to glide around as a little meerkat and we're actually going to jump down and you can see that we are in uh, um, like a, a desert area, kind of like I believe meerkats usually live in like the Kalahari desert and places. And you can see there are millipedes and we can actually, we can do different actions. I think we can, we can attack. Oh, oh, there is a, there's an attack animation. I, where'd that millipede go? Can we attack it? Can we attack it? Kind of. We can sort of just go rawr. <laughs> And um, I think we can we can sit up and look around. Oh, um, it's a little glitchy still. It's kind of um, it, it's a little bit of a little it's a little different. But you can see we can actually uh, we can actually apparently scoot around like this. But you've probably seen um, you've probably seen the uh, the meerkats do this position. That that's what they'll usually come and they'll go up on like one of these mounds over here. And they'll sit up on their hind legs and kind of look around. Did any of you guys used to watch, um, oh gosh, any of you guys remember Animal Planet's Meerkat Manor? <laughs> I used to watch that show when I was little. Um, but I, I used to love meerkats. And they would, they would sit and they'd look around like this. And I thought there's some sort of weird residual animation thing in front of them. But it's pretty cute. Uh, it's pretty good animation too. Like as far as the positions they do have. They don't have it actually animated yet. But there's another very important part of this simulator. And, um... Oh, there's a millipede, and you can't eat them just yet, I'm pretty sure, but they want to implement it. It's very much still a work in progress, but you can see at the bottom we actually have something that says dig. And that's right, uh, meerkats do have a lot to do with digging in real life, and this game does reflect that. So let's go over here, we'll start maybe digging into the side of this hill, and um, we probably won't spend a lot of time in Simulator, because like I said, it is very much a work in progress, but I'll probably be going through a bunch of different Roblox games and trying them out and just kind of giving you like a 10 minute overview of it. And if you guys want to see more of a certain game, let me know and we can definitely work that in. So we can actually dig into the side of this hill and we can actually start to create a little area and it takes a little bit. I, I hope they speed it up. I know some games have it a lot faster. Uh, it does take a while as it is, but you can actually dig. And I can't wait for them to get all the animations in. But we can actually start burrowing into the side of this hill. And like just like real meerkats do when they dig out their burrows in the ground. So meerkats usually are not solitary. We are here, I think. Oh, it looks like there is one other person online. But um, we are pretty much alone right now. And usually that is not... Uh, the case with meerkats, usually they live in um, a, a group of meerkats, I believe is called a mob. And so they have kind of, kind of similar to a wolf pack, you'll have a bunch of meerkats and they all work together and they all will help each other. They'll help raise each other's young. I think most cases they will. Um, and they will help gather food and they'll defend each other from predators. And one will keep watch while the others dig and such not. It's really cool. But um, they are also a lot like wolves in the fact that they can be very aggressive and territorial towards other um, towards other meerkat mobs. 
I believe it is a mob. I will check it and see, and if it is not, I will put in a correction. <laughs> um, maybe I'll put it in a little overlay, but you can see we can actually dig ourselves a nice little burrow here, just like real meerkats do. So I thought it was a pretty cool, kind of simplistic game. I know they do want to play, they do want to add more. I don't know when the last time they updated this is, or if they will go on to add more, but I really hope they do, because it's a pretty cool game. The digging is a little bit slow, but you can see that we have made quite a bit of progress here. And I do want to also try and focus in this Roblox series on some of the lesser known games. So like this is not, there's the one game I will probably at some point play um, on camera, I played it a little bit off camera, is there is a very popular dinosaur simulator and some of you guys may have played that I suspect. If not, it's definitely worth checking out. It's very fun, very well done, and it has a lot more features. We will be exploring that as well. But I also want to focus on some of the lesser known ones. So like this Meerkat Simulator, we'll be playing a bunch of different nature and wildlife themed games, whether they're popular or not so popular. And I'll put links to the, uh, the different games in the video description. But you can see we've already cleared out like a nice little tunnel area. And, um, if I turn around, we've already got a nice little tunnel going. And that is what meerkats will do. They will dig down into the sand and they will make burrows for themselves and their the rest of the mob of meerkats. <laughs> so it's pretty it's pretty cool. Now there isn't that much you can do in the simulator just yet. It's still very much a work in progress, but it is kind of fun to just go around excavating things. And every once in a while, someone else does come on. It's it's pretty inactive. It's not no nothing like some of the more popular servers where you have people on all the time. A lot of the time, you don't have too many people on. But in some ways, it's it's also not it's definitely not overcrowded either. <laughs> so that can be kind of nice. And it could be kind of fun, you know, we just to mimic real meerkats and actually excavate out like a tunnel area, a tunnel system, just like they have. So it's a pretty cool game. And we probably, if you guys want to see more of this, even though it's pretty simple, let me know. But for the next time, we probably will move on to another game. I'll probably just go through several games in this series. It's, it's still very, an ex very much an experimental series. So we probably will go through several games. Uh, different games and then if you guys like a game and want to see more of it let me know this one it might not because there isn't a lot you can do it until it updates more if it updates we might want to just leave this one be for now but if you guys like just kind of messing around and digging a bunch of tunnels and making your own little underground mines or not mine system but kind of sort of like if you like excavating out a little tunnel system this could be a very fun game and I will give you the link to it in the video description and um but yeah, it's definitely something to check out. I'm not sure when this game was made or if it will update. I really hope it does. But if you do like it, go um, if you like it, go ahead and make sure you give a like to the creator of the server. And if you guys know of any nature themed games that we could play that you like or that you'd like to see us try out, then let's go ahead and let me know. I would love to hear your suggestions. I'm not very familiar with Roblox. I've been on the community for a while, but I haven't really done too much on the community. So I'm still very, um, I'm pretty inexperienced when it comes to knowing what servers. Keep in mind, I'm probably, I won't necessarily play just any old server. It probably should stay more with the theme of the channel and more into the kind of the nature-y sort of themes, so like this meerkat simulator or the dinosaur one that we'll be checking out at some point in the future here. Um, it, it just, if it, it fits with that theme, feel free to let me know. Even if it doesn't feel free to let me know, I'd like to check out different games, but I may not play them on the channel if they don't fit with the theme. So anyway, that's basically the meerkat simulator. Like I said, it is very much still a work in progress. They are planning to add a lot more, or they were at the time they made it. I don't know exactly when they did make it. But yeah, that's, um, that is the simulator for now. And I just thought I'd show you that. And if you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the video description. But anyway, I um, hope to see you guys next time when we come back and play another Roblox server. Let me know if you know of any good servers. And I will see you guys later. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.